In today's video, I'm gonna teach you how to use Hubstaff. Essentially, it's an app that helps you track your employees' hours as well as pay and other things like that. So let's get right into the video. So I'm gonna jump straight into it and just log into my account. Now they have a 14 day free trial as you can see up here and the pricing, I'll quickly show you. It starts at 4.99 a month and goes all the way up to 25 a month. Um, and if you wanna pay monthly, it starts at $7 a month. So let's show you how it actually works. So now that we're logged in, we're actually going to see the dashboard here. And on the dashboard, it's going to show you a few things starting off. So the first thing you're going to see is the weekly activity. So this is basically how active each of your employees has been in the week. So this is 50% here, which means 50% of the time they've been working, they've been doing something active. Now for me, this is a good, good number because of the tasks they have to do. But, you know, for other industries, data entry and stuff, you want it much higher up to like 80, 90%. Next up, we have the work this week. So this is how many hours have been worked this week by your team. This is total collective between all of your employees. And you see this week, we've had 53 hours of work done. Over here, it has the spend this week. So what you can do is you can set a um, amount per hour that you want to spend on certain activities. And here it's going to add that up and then tell you how much you have to pay your employees. So we're on $268 this week. Now, this isn't fully accurate because um, I haven't fully set it up properly, but if I had, it would be a, bit, be a bit more than this. And then over here, lastly, we have projects worked on. So the first thing I'd recommend doing once you actually sign up to Hubstaff is going over to the project management section and then clicking on projects. Then in projects, you can actually create a new project. I'm gonna click add project here. So we've got a few options here. What we can do is we can type in the name. So this is going to be the name of the project. So I've just put a title in here called tutorial videos. Now we can turn on billable. This basically means that, um, you know, you can set a, a rate for this. Uh, disable activity means people will no, no, no longer be able to do it. And disable idle, idle time means that um, if someone's idle, then it won't record the time for the client uh, for the uh, employee which is quite good meaning if they're not doing anything it's not going to count it as work time which is pretty cool then over here we've got the client section you can actually assign a client so maybe you have a few clients there you can assign that with that there next we can go over here to members and we can actually assign a member to this project so the first thing you can set is a manager you can just select one in here you can select up to three actually i think you can select as many as you want but i only have three people here so you can also select users, so people who are going to work on the project, but will not be able to see the other users. And lastly, you've got viewers. So this might be good for a client so they can see the progress of their project. Next, you've got the budget and limits. So you can select the budget, so or the limit, like how many hours it's going to be or the total cost. So say you only want to spend 20 hours on it, you could put total hours and you could put 20 hours in there. Alternatively, you could put the cost, so you only want to spend £300 on it or something and you can set a notification at a percent of the budget. Now, let's say you have a recurring task, you could set it to reset weekly. So, you know, you only spend $50 per week on X task, and then you can set a start date. Lastly, you can select teams in here. So if you have a team that does one thing, you can designate it here with the team section. And you just wanna go ahead and click save, and that's going to create the project for you. So I've now gone over to the people section and I've gone to members and this is where you're able to invite team members. So the first thing we want to do is go ahead and click on add members here and it's going to ask some information here. So their email, their pay rate per hour, what role they're going to have. So you can give them user, project viewer, project manager or organization manager and as well as assign some projects to them. So the projects that we've just created there, you can now assign these to people. Alternatively, you can click here and give them an invite link, which you can send it to them and they'll be able to set it all up themselves. You can click send and that's going to be able to add them to your teams. So once you've actually gone ahead and set up the teams and all of that stuff, you can actually now go over to the activity section and this is going to show you what your employees are doing. So with this setting here, you can turn it on and basically it's going to take a screenshot every 10 minutes of their um, computer or their screen so that you can actually see they're working and that they're actually working on the tasks you've set them. One problem when you hire uh, in overseas is that you don't always know if they're working on your task, you don't know if they're being efficient, all that kind of stuff. So with this, it allows you to actually track what they're doing. So it will randomly take a screenshot once in the 10 minutes so they have to be working. What it also does is it tells you the time worked, it tells you the average activity percent, it tells you the focus time. So the focus time is um, 
well, it's, it's defined as 30 minutes of continuous time tracked to a single project or task, less than 90, seven, 90 seconds of unproductive apps slash URLs, and less than 90 seconds of time spent in the following categories, communication, meetings, entertainment, news, social media, and shopping. And it says these metrics are calculated per member per day. So we have 29% focus time on this um, team member. Now, it's fine for me to have 29% because of the types of tasks he does. He's often on shopping sites, all that kind of stuff. But for you, the baseline might be different. So, you know, keep a check on that. Over here, you can see the work time classification. So you can see here only has 13% core work, which is, you know, based upon what I just said. But if you actually hover over the different sections, it tells you what he spent time on. So he spent 79% on YouTube, 11% YouTube Studio, 4% LinkedIn, 3% Netflix, 1% Amazon. So... For me, this is, this is pretty good. You can also see um, the co the non-core work and then the core work. So he's on Google Docs, Trello, Zapier, Notion, Photoshop, which is exactly what he's supposed to be doing. Over here, you can see the timesheet section. And basically, this is going to tell you how many hours they've worked for the week. You can also set daily or calendar. And then it's going to break down the different tasks they've actually done. So I tell the team that whenever they switch tasks that they need to switch it on their Hubstaff app and I'll show you how to set that up in a minute. But you can see here he spent this week four and a half hours on customer support. He spent 14 hours on video creation. He's done thumbnails. He's done uploads, general e-commerce tasks and another general e-commerce task here, which adds up to this amount here. So it really lets you see what you're spending time on, if it's worthwhile, all that stuff. It's, it's a really great um, tool that I find really useful. So now to actually go ahead and use the software for the employee, what you're going to have to get them to do is go to the top of this screen here and there's a little stopwatch thing. You can click open timer and if you want to, you can um, select a project. So I can select a project and a to do here and I can, I can select start, but that's not going to be able to do the screenshots that will just record the time spent. Instead, you want to get them to download this here. So I'll open it up for you. And essentially what you'll do, you'll download this or they will download this to the computer. And then it's going to look like this. So from here, they're going to be able to select the task they're working on. They'll click the start button and that will automatically track the time and also take the screenshots like we spoke about before. Now they can also get it on Mac depending on what they work on, but it's a really great tool that allows you to make sure they're actually working efficiently. Now, one more thing you can actually do is you can send payments directly from hub staff. So you can go to the financial section and if you go to the send payments thing, you're able to connect up um but you're allowed to you're able to integrate lots of different things like paypal payoneer wise all this stuff and then you can just basically send payments directly based upon their pay or based upon the hours they've worked each week so it kind of saves you a lot of time if you know you don't have to go onto other apps and do it and also it allows you to um keep a track in here of your financials all that kind of stuff now there's loads more settings that you can actually go and fiddle around with but these are the main ones that i use on a day-to-day -day basis so if you enjoyed this video and found it useful, be sure to like, subscribe and comment down below that it helped you out. Thank you for watching.